Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Chinwendo, and I am here to deliver an encounter or revelation that I had on October 10, 2022. So in this dream, I saw myself at the top of the mountain with one woman that I don't know and a lion. So three of us, we are walking, we are climbing this mountain, but I did not see us um, from the beginning, how we started climbing this mountain. I saw us at the top of the mountain already trying to finish up. And so this woman that I will call my guardian angel was trying to help me to climb because she was telling me, put your leg here, put your leg here, put your leg here. And the lion was also following me, following us. Hallelujah. So three of us, we are climbing this mountain together so when i saw this uh, lion standing very close to me initially i was like i hope this lion will not uh, bite me or tear me into pieces or kill me but no this lion was so quiet and calm unlike lion you know lion they are dangerous animal but this one wasn't dangerous was not even looking for any trouble it was just following uh, us three of us we are climbing the mountain as i said we were already at the top of the mountain trying to finish up by the time i saw us in that dream so at some point i stopped um, climbing the mountain and i look back to see so when i look back i saw trees at the beginning of the mountain a lot of trees covered the beginning of the mountain so i wasn't able to see how the uh, beginning of the mountain is looking because it was covered with trees and these trees were beautiful you know with uh, green leaves so then the mountain itself was also covered with grasses green grasses then i look by this side i look towards this side and i saw a narrow way that went through from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the mountain and i was saying to myself in this dream so people are actually climbing this mountain because that mountain is very very dangerous <laughs> it is very very dangerous it is just like one standing like this and i saw us like over here so it is like like this which means any small thing or if you fall, you will uh, fall all the way to the beginning. You might break your bones or die. So there is nothing in between that will hold you if you are falling from this mountain. It was just like a straight mountain like this. So I was talking to myself. So people are climbing this mountain through this narrow way. That this mountain is very dangerous because they can fall backward or forward if they are climbing down the mountain they can fall just forward because there is no grip there is the mountain is not curvy it's just like a straight uh, mountain so i was looking at this like wow so people are climbing this mountain because i saw a narrow way that went from the top to the bottom of the mountain and i was talking to myself in this dream but you know looking at the mountain and observing everything so that woman that was helping me to climb the mountain, I will call her my guiding angel. As you know that all of us uh, have a guiding angel, right? All of us has a guiding angel, whether you know it or not. And that lion that is also uh, climbing the mountain with us, I will call him the Lion of Judah. Hallelujah. That is Jesus Christ over there. trying to. That is making sure that I will not fall or go or fall that backward and die or stop climbing so jesus christ was also there to make sure that i will finish this race this heavenly race to make sure that i'll be able to finish this race and get to the top and you know the top of the mountain is heaven okay so this mountain is the narrow way which children of god must pass through in order to make to heaven because the narrow way will lead to our life which is eternal life in heaven while the broad way will lead to our destruction which is hellfire and we don't want that one so i did not see any broad way on this mountain what i saw is a narrow way and i said this narrow way is something else of course this race that we are running is something is something else it is not a joke running this heavenly race is not a joke because you have to be prepared to go through persecution you have to be prepared to meet 
tons and uh, bottles and paint and any kind of thing on the way. It is not a joke, but it is doable. We can pass through this narrow way and end up to our life, which is in heaven. We can go through this narrow way because that is the only choice that we have now. As children of God, if you want to make heaven, you must pass through this narrow way. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. And you know what destruction is? It's to hell. So following the broad way will lead you to hell, which is not what we want. We want to make it to heaven. Hallelujah. So you have to walk through this narrow way. You don't have to be going through this broad way. You have to repent and come out from that broad way that you are walking to you through. You have to repent from your sin, from your inside to your outside. You have to repent and depart from the world. You cannot be behaving like the world or enjoying the world and still make to heaven. No, you have to forsake the world. You have to abandon the world. You have to walk through this narrow way that will lead you to your life. Hallelujah. So this narrow way is a way that will guide us to heaven. You will meet a lot of things when you are walking through this narrow way. You can go through persecution, hatred, all kinds of things. You can meet uh, anything on this narrow way. But don't give up. Do not give up because with God, all things are possible. I was able to be climbing that dangerous mountain with the help of that angel and our master, Jesus Christ, the Lion of Judah. Hallelujah! Hey, hallelujah. I wasn't climbing the mountain by my own strength or power. It was by the strength of Jesus Christ and my guardian angel, as you can see. Minus that, I couldn't have been able to climb that mountain or to be where I found myself at the top of the mountain, trying to finish or praise the Lord. So we have to repent. We have to forsake all our sins from the inside to our outside because God is looking at both ways, both ways. God is looking through our heart and God is also looking through our appearance to make sure that we are cleansed inside and outside inwardly and outwardly hallelujah you cannot make heaven if you are dressing like a prostitute dressing like a mermaid or painting your face or wearing all those jewelry and makeup you cannot make heaven because the bible is against those things those things are vanity upon vanity and they will lead to your destruction you cannot make heaven if you are still wearing wedding ring that thing is an idol it's an idol we cannot be wearing any idol we cannot be Wearing makeup, jewelry, all those things. These things are idols according to the Bible. We cannot be wearing all those rubbish, high heels. Women, you cannot be wearing trousers, uh, leggings, tight, short. Those things are for the men. Those are not for us. The Bible tells us that women should not be wearing men clothing and men should not be wearing women clothing. When you read Deuteronomy 22 verse 5, you can see it. So God is also looking at our parents. Minus that, these Bible verses shouldn't have been written in the first place. If you are still wearing artificial hair, wig, or even braiding your natural hair, Get them out today because you cannot make heaven. If you read First Peter 3 verse 3 and First Timothy 2 verse 9, they are telling us we cannot braid our hair, cannot wear pearls, cannot wear gold. Those things are evil. Those things are abomination. They are destroying the temple of the Holy Spirit. 